Vitalis Masukweza was a 31-year-old businessman who had a successful second-hand spence shop in Malawi. He lived with his girlfriend in Biwi Township, Lilongwe, but his life was cut short by a tragic and brutal murder. On the 11th of November 2022, Padon Masukweza, his brother, called him and told him that there were two friends of his who were Zimbabweans who had a car problem along Nchindi Road. He asked Vitalis to assist them since they were stranded. Vitalis agreed and picked up one of the men along Pipers Road and the other one at engine filling station at Njerwa. He then drove them to Nchindi to fix the breakdown vehicle. He was accompanied by his girlfriend, Miriam Saidi, a 28-year-old, and she knew that Padon had directed him to go there. But unfortunately, it was a trap. Upon reaching Nachola Lekasi Forest, one of the hitmen shot Vitalis on the forehead with a pistol rifle, killing him instantly. The hitmen then fled the scene, leaving behind Vitalis' girlfriend, who managed to escape to a nearby railway house. She later reported the incident to the police, who found Vitalis' body lying in a pool of blood in his Mercedes-Benz. The police also found two empty cartridges, two live ammunition, and a small black jumble with white powder suspected to be a drug at the scene. They launched an investigation to arrest the suspects and unravel the motive behind the murder. The girlfriend told the police that the previous morning, Vitalis had been called by his brother Padden that there were two Zimbabweans who had a car problem along Shindi Road. The police then made Padon the main suspect. According to reports, the late Vitalis used to work for his brother at Alliance Mall, where he used to sell spare parts for cars. It is alleged that the late Vitalis embezzled money belonging to his brother, amounting to over 66 million kwacha. The matter was reported to the police several times, but when he was arrested, he was always released. The case even went to court, but then the brother who lost the money decided that he wanted to resolve outside court since they were blood. The brother wanted his money back, but Vitalis was reluctant to pay back. An audit was done to confirm the claims and it was found to be true that 66 million kwacha had been missing. Meanwhile, Padon fled Malawi in his South African registered vehicle and headed to Zimbabwe. He claimed that he was away when the misfortune happened, but the police had evidence that he left Malawi soon after the shooting. The police are still looking for their accomplices who are believed to be hiding in Malawi, and they are trying to gain access to Vitalis' WhatsApp messages to prove that indeed it was Padden that had directed him to the hitman. The case has shocked and saddened many people, especially the Zimbabwean community in Malawi, who knew Vitalis as a hard-working and friendly person.